You must have seen this iconic image on social media at some point. And perhaps you've been wondering how this shipwreck ended up here on this cove. What's the story behind it? Why is it so notorious and one of the main tourist attractions of the islands? Well, we will be answering all these questions today and more, as some of the facts are just mind-blowing. So, let's get right into it. Before we get to the theories, including the 2016 ship's captain version of the ordeal, we need to talk briefly about her origins. Before we got her current name, the MV Panayotis, or the motor vessel Panayotis, was originally named St. Bidden, a coaster general cargo ship built in Scotland. It officially launched on the 14th of January 1937. A few years after her launch, between May 26 and June the 4th, 1940, St. Baden was heroically used during the famous Dunkirk evacuations, where she rescued Allied soldiers from the beaches and port harbor of Dunkirk during World War II. The vessel has had several owners and renamed multiple times over the years, until 1977, when it was sold again, this time in Greece and was renamed for the last time, the MV Panayotis. The most accepted story is that the Panayotis was used for smuggling cigarettes and alcohol from Yugoslavia and Albania to Italy, and it is believed that the ship belonged to the Italian Mafia. Some rumors say that the captain was able to arrest and imprison a couple of smugglers from Italy just to exploit the smuggled goods for himself. When the Greek authorities intervened, sending the Navy in pursuit, the ship was found on the 5th of October 1980 by Marine police, carrying around 2,000 boxes of cigarettes, valued at 30 million drachmas, estimated at a couple hundred thousand dollars. In poor weather conditions, the vessel sailed into water from which it could not escape. Upon their arrival, the Greek authorities claimed that the entire crew vanished into thin air, leaving the ship to be washed ashore, where she currently still remains. Another version of the legend says that the Minister of Tourism ordered to bring the wreck on the shore of Navajo Beach on purpose. Allegedly, the ship wrecked in a totally different place and was brought to the shore as a marketing strategy, meant to help with the popularity of the beach. But what about the captain's account surrounding that fateful night? Finally, in 2016, the captain of the ship agreed to address the public with his chronicle of what happened that night. The captain said, that he sailed the MV Panayotis on the 6th of September 1980 from Kefalonia in Greece to Dures in Albania. A month later, as the ship departed for the return journey, the captain stated that the ship was met with extreme bad weather and suffered several mechanical failures during that night, forcing it onto Navaggio Beach. The captain noted in his account that he reported the accident to the authorities, but due to the inaccessibility of the beach, the captain and his crew were unable to protect the ship and its cargo from the weather, sea, and thieves, as part of its cargo was stolen, along with some important shipping equipment, such as the VHF radio and radar equipment. The captain reported the thefts to the authorities. The captain stated that the police was able to locate the stolen items from the ship in local Zakanthan villages close to the site. 29 residents were arrested and some even jailed after the case went to trial. The captain claimed that he was accused of many things that night, but was finally cleared of all accusations by the court. However, he was later told by the authorities that he must remove the MV Panayotis from the shore by himself. But when he went there, he was stunned by the beauty of the beach 
and how the ship gave it that little something special. So he chose to leave the ship where he was, and the rest is history. Whatever side of the story you choose to believe, the shipwreck made the Navajo Beach a much more interesting place, admired indeed by thousands around the world.